Rumors are that allegedly Candy Burris' Real Housewives of Atlanta salary was leaked. How much money is she making? And is her salary the reason for the reboot rumors? I have some new information that may answer all of those questions and more right after this. What's up, Kim Folk? And welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, do me a favor and subscribe. And if you already are subscribed, do me a favor and get notified. So you'll know whenever I upload new videos to the channel. All right, Kim Folk, come on into the house. We have a lot to talk about. And it centers around rumors that allegedly Candy Burris' Real Housewives of Atlanta's salary was leaked. How much money is she making? And is her salary the reason for the reboot rumors? I have some new information that may answer all of those questions and more. And here it goes. Rumors are that allegedly Candy's actual Real Housewives of Atlanta salary was mistakenly shared. And it has many fans wondering if her salary is the real reason for the reboot rumors. The source explained, at BravoCon, a fan alleges that they overheard network executives or and producers talking openly about several current and former housewives. Most notably, the conversation became more lively when discussing Candy's alleged $1.2 million salary. When this information was leaked, fans were sent into an uproar. One fan on social media said, you mean to tell me the network is trying to get rid of Candy over $1.2 million? Crazy. Another fan said, the way people were talking, it seemed as if Candy was making $1.2 million an episode, not a season. And with this new information, many fans are asking the question, is Candy's somewhat huge salary the real reason for the Real Housewives of Atlanta reboot rumors? Well, an industry insider said, while Candy's salary is somewhat modest compared to what Nene was making and to what Kyle is allegedly currently making at Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, you have to also remember that Candy has made millions from her businesses featured on the show. Now, continued the source, when it comes to rumors that the network wants to get rid of Candy and her huge payday, I find it hard to believe. Candy is definitely worth the $1.2 million. Also, there aren't too many prominent Atlanta women who could join the cast for nothing less than a million plus. If anything, the network would lose out on getting rid of Candy and lose out on a lot of money trying to find her replacement, ended the source. Which may be Candy's saving grace, said another industry insider. Candy is actually being lowballed because she brings so much to the franchise and has been doing so for the past 15 years. Letting her go will be a huge mistake, both professionally and financially for the network. Prominent women in Atlanta don't need the money and producers can't guarantee that Candy's replacement would bring in a million plus dollars worth of drama, storylines, or fan likability. All sources agree that Candy's alleged salary is a steal for the network and probably not a factor in the alleged reboot talks. More than anything, Candy's inability to produce a new storyline may be a bigger factor if she is returning next season. Candy, much like previous OG and veteran housewives, has to find a way to reinvent herself. Her new career as a Broadway producer could be the perfect vehicle to do it with, if only producers saw major value in it the way fans do. Now, Kenfo, that was a rumor that came across my desk um, last week, actually. <clears throat> and my sources and I have been talking about it for uh, the past couple of days. And so I would say this, the first part of this rumor that I find very shocking is this. You know, 
I do find it shocking that Candy is allegedly only making one point two million dollars from um, the season of Real, a season from at Real Housewives of Atlanta. Um, if you are to believe this rumor um, and this alleged information, you know one would think that Candy really is being lowball. I just knew that Candy was at two point five or more simply because all of the things she brings to the show. She brings the OG knowledge. She brings the veteran um, production or cast producing skills. Um, she brings the entertainment. And for the last majority of time of, of her being on the show, she had a lot of organic drama that really spiked up the ratings. So to hear this alleged salary was a bit surprising. And I have to agree with uh, one of the sources when they say that Candy is being lowballed because the network is getting a big bang for their book. So if you are to believe the reboot rumors that the network wants to free up the money to bring in new cast members, if you're going to bring in someone of Candy's caliber, I guarantee you they're not going to be cheap. And you have to bring in someone of Candace's caliber in order to replace her. If not, anyone else is going to seem like a downgrade and a big turnoff to fans. Now, Kimfo, the next part of this rumor that I, um, you know, do find also very believable um, is this. Candy, um, in her position at Real Housewives of Atlanta, just simply, I think, irreplaceable. What Candy brings to this show is the same is the same thing that one would say that uh, Lisa Vanderpump brought to Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, what Nene uh, brought to Real Housewives of Atlanta, and what Teresa uh, brings at Real Housewives of New Jersey. And what she brings is this particular mindset of how to produce reality TV. Candy is a professional at this. And, you know, it would just be very hard to replace her with someone who is not on her level or higher. And with that being said, I do have to agree with uh, my sources when they say that re taking Candy off the franchise will be a big professional and financial misstep for the network. And that's what I believe is the real factor. It's that do you want to get rid of Candy to save the money or do you want to get rid of Candy because of the lack of storylines that the fans saying that she is not producing? And that's where we find ourselves at the crossroads. And I'm willing to bet that at the end of the day, when it comes to his reboot uh, talks, if the cast is tweaked or even completely reboot, rebooted, you're going to see Candy at the top spot and everyone else, you know, trying to find a position either next to her or directly underneath her. And with that being said, the only person that I think that could probably be next to her is Kenya. And we know how production actually loves uh, Sheree, but I think even for Sheree, that's a stretch. So this rumor really does speak to the fact that, you know, Candy is just an irreplaceable housewife. Now, Kim folk, the next part of this rumor that I do find um, very uh, interesting as well. And it has to do with Andy and um, the Real Housewives of Atlanta franchise moving forward. And it's this. You know, I feel like at the end of the day, Andy is being led by social media talk. <clears throat> and I think that at BravoCon, that really hit home for him simply because <clears throat> he saw firsthand the reception that the ladies got at BravoCon. A lot of people were saying, well, there wasn't a lot of people at the panel. And it wasn't, um, you know, a lot of excitement about them being at the show. And then while we're watching the uh, BravoCon at home and looking at uh, the social media metrics, that's all everyone was talking about. Real Housewives of Atlanta. Real Housewives of Atlanta. And I do believe that um, type of social media metrics did pull Andy's thinking back a little bit. And I really do feel like that is what influenced him to say that Real Housewives of Atlanta just needs a little tweak and not a full reboot. Which brings us back to Candy and her salary. I don't think for one moment that Candy's salary, if you are to believe this rumor um, and this alleged information, is an issue. I really don't. If anything, I see them bringing Candy back for even more money if they decide to do the tweaks or even a full reboot. <clears throat> because Candy would definitely be the 
the uh the lead with the new cast. She is going to be the Nene. She's going to be the Lisa Vanderpump. She's going to be the Kyle. She's going to be the Teresa. And they're going to look for Candy to guide all of the new housewives if they bring them on for a reboot. Or she's they're going to look for her to guide the current housewives with a couple new newbies and how they're going to present the next phase of the franchise. But not Kim, folk. Um, I want to know what you guys think. If you are to believe this room that came out of BravoCon that Candy's salary is $1.2 million a season, do you think Candy is being lowballed, or do you think that's a fair number for how she has been performing on the seasons um, the last past couple of years? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. All right, Kim, folks, as always, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys over on the next one. Peace.